TEPCO. It's Japan's largest utility, but it has a long history of cover-ups. While the company says the Fukushima accident was triggered by the natural disaster, critics and insiders say incompetence and negligence made things worse. Tonight, we'll hear from a former TEPCO engineer who's spoken exclusively to 7.30 about the cover-ups and collusion he witnessed. The ABC's North Asia correspondent, Mark Willisey, reports from Fukushima. For 12 years, Toshio Kimura worked at the Fukushima number one plant, helping to monitor and control the reactor cores. He was a member of the TEPCO family, educated and employed by the Tokyo Electric Power Company, Japan's biggest supplier of nuclear energy. But Toshio Kimura asked too many questions. I asked my boss back in the late 90s what would happen if a tsunami hit the Fukushima reactors. I said, surely a meltdown will happen. He said, Kimura, you are right. But it was made clear that the issue of a big tsunami was taboo. A few years later, I quit the company because of its culture of cover-ups. If they'd moved the emergency diesel generators to a position above the expected tsunami level, it would have cost the company a lot. So nobody proposed it. TEPCO is a company with a history of cover-ups. Ten years ago, it concealed cracks in reactor facilities. Then a few years later, it falsified data on its nuclear plants. When officials from the Nuclear Safety Agency or the Ministry came to the plant for inspections, they were entertained with drinks the night before. Then they would inspect the plant and give it a 100% pass mark. Then on the way home, the inspectors were given beer and snacks and taxi vouchers. All nuclear plants should stop operating until they're prepared for the next earthquake and tsunami. That's my message.